going on guys? We're back with another episode. So quick video for you today. Unfortunately, there's going to be no golf this week because we got a cold snap. And so golf has been put on hold. However, did think it was a perfect time to go through some of the off course things that we're doing to improve our score and get better at golf. And the biggest thing for me that I do off the course that helps me a ton is physical fitness. So I'm going to keep this super short and basically just give you the three areas that I focus on the most to gain speed. Now, to be clear, I am not a personal trainer. This is not personal training advice. I'm just telling you the things that have worked for me. Please seek out an actual professional and speak to your doctor before starting any health regimen. Again, I'm just telling you the things that I've done that have worked for me. So when it comes to golf, you are the engine of the golf swing. You are the engine of the club. A lot of us work jobs that are super sedentary. And so we're actually ruining the main part of our golf game that can help us. And that is our core, our lower back and our glutes. We are sitting all the time. And what that does is that atrophies our core a ton. And so I had to struggle with that because again, my main job was sitting in front of a pair of speakers for 12 hours a day previously. So my core was absolutely destroyed. And where this hurt me the most in golf was my inability to hit shots with a ton of speed because I didn't have the stability in my core to do it. So I knew I needed to fix this. So how I've tackled this this off season, which has led to 15 miles per hour in extra club head speed. Yes, that's correct. Back in October, I did a quick track band test to see where I was speed wise. And with my driver, I was struggling to hit 114 miles per hour. I can now hit 129, not with the auto flex, like with my own driver. So there's no extra speed benefits, you know, with the gear. All of that is a direct correlation to improving my swing and then absolutely bearing down on my core to make sure that I have enough stability and strength in my abs my glutes and my legs to fire the club. Today in part one of the workout program, I'm gonna show you my leg workout specifically and how I do it twice a week in order to engage my core and get this whole area locked in and fix all of those years of sitting down and just atrophied muscles. So the first thing is, is all three sets of 10 reps uh, with the leg workout, super set with an ab exercise. Step one is I do squats. So I'll do 10 squats, okay? Just 10 basic squats. I will start with just body weight and then graduate as I went through my cycle progressively with more weight. So now I'm up to 40 pounds per side and I'm just, again, very thoughtful in my movement. I make sure I'm getting a good squeeze and I'm engaging my core every single time. Then I'll superset that with the ab wheel. This thing's great. It completely shreds your abs. It hurts a ton. And on the carpet, it does a lot of, it, 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 it hurts. So I will then superset that with 10 of these and I will graduate it to where now I'm doing 20 of those after every set. Once I'm done, step one of that. Okay, step two, now we're doing lunges. So I use split lunges. So just very simple, split lunges with body weight, okay? And then graduate, same thing with the squats. I will graduate that into full weight. Now, if I had more space, I would just do walking lunges. I can't, so I just do a stationary split lunge back and forth. I superset that with ab bicycles. So here, each revolution is one. I started with 20. Now I do 40 of these after every single set. Okay, so now that's two, done. The final set is deadlifts. And so again, body weight just here, okay? Very simple. Now I've added weight and I'll superset this with V-ups that again, target the lower abs a ton. So I pop up and then back and pop up and then back. And so this entire workout is geared to basically lock down this entire section of my body. And it has been single-handedly the most impactful training I have done. The reason why it has worked so well for me is that I didn't go this aggressively on my core when I did my initial workouts last season. So I did this entire regimen once before for my under par journey, but I wasn't as militant on stabilizing my core. As a result, my ball striking was not as good as it could have been. How I'm able to hit the ball now is a direct result of being able to have that strength because when I stand over a four iron now or my driver or anything, and I really need to crunch it out there, I have more than enough power because of this. 
Let me know in the comments below if, if you think this will help you and you want to see more of my workout routine and my fitness stuff on the channel. Thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will catch you on the next one. Peace.